Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boy Boy Kennels. Uh, this little video is in regards to how to combine or join a uh, MP3 file. Now, the program you want to use is called MP3 Trimmer, which is this right here. Now, the website is uh, deepniner.net slash MP3 Trimmer. Now this program, um, it's only just under 11 bucks, so it's like $10 and some change, very inexpensive to use. Um, also, it, it does more than just join your MP3 files. You can edit them, set starting points, ending points, fade ins, fade outs. Um, you can do uh, many different things. One thing you want to keep in mind, though, that it is for MP3 files. It's not for AAC or ACC or you know, whatever it's called. Um, they do have to be MP3 format. Um, it works best when the uh, bit rates are the same. So, for example, I'm using it for a certain podcast that me and my buddy be doing where he had for forwarded me this recent one, but it's broken up into five parts. And that's because um, he's broadcasting it live and recording it. So he records it in one hour increments. So as you can see here, I have one, two, three, three, four, and five. So I have five episodes, except for this last one. These are all one hour increments. Now, as you can see, they're about 40, just a little over 41 megabytes in size, each of them. Uh, they're both uh, 96 uh, kilobytes in bit rate and the duration is they're an hour long. Now, like I said, this is a five part uh, episode. Now, what I want to do is I want to combine those episodes into one file. So that way, when I set up the, uh, the podcast for this show, it's one particular file. So, the program I'm opening up, as you can see, it's uh, MP3 Trimmer. Let me zoom in as much as possible. So, MP3 Trimmer. I already have it launched. Now I'm currently using a demo, which does have a timer while it's in the it's in the unregistered mode. I'm just waiting to, to receive my uh, registration number, so that way I don't have to wait for the countdown. Now every time you use certain features, it does have a countdown. So we're gonna go to the um, menu bar. We're gonna click on Tools, and we're gonna go to MP3 Joiner. Now, like I said, it's still the trial mode. So I do have a, a countdown for like what 17, 18 seconds. It's not a big thing, but like I said, once I receive my uh, registration number, I'll no longer have any of the uh, wait periods. Um, so as I wait for that to come up, what I want to do is I want to combine these two files. So I'm going to go ahead and select both the files that I want, and I'm going to just drag and drop them into the uh, MP3 join file box. Now, um, one thing you do want to note, as I've already mentioned, they do have to be MP3 format. Uh, it works best, so you don't have any issues or errors that the bit rate is the same. And also, when, you, um, when you're when you joining the files, whatever order you put these files in is the order that it's going to save them as. So if you do track 3, track 1, track 2, and save it that way, that's how it's going to save when you really want it to be track one, two, and three. All right, well, I'll go ahead and uh, select my target folder. And let me uh, pick my folder here. Should be a stream, yes. Now, the file is already named joined file, which is actually an MP3 format. Now, I can rename it to whatever I want, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave it as, as is. So this will run through, it'll do its thing, so that way it'll join the files. Now the good thing about this program is that when it joins them, it does not lose any of the fidelity sounds, meaning that it's 96 bit kilobytes, when it's saved, it's still the exact same sound quality, because it does it through binary, which is very useful and pretty much non-destructive to your audio file.
So it's it's uh you know it's going through the little phases here, you know, to do both files. Now it does run a little faster, but with the I show you running, that kind of takes up a little bit more of the uh, resources. So it'll make it run a, a bit slower than it would normally run, but this actually runs pretty pretty fast. And again, like I said, I mean it's it's a um, just under a uh, eleven dollar investment. Uh, definitely a great program to get if it's something you look forward to, and and definitely get some use out of it. All right, well, my file is complete, so I'll go ahead and I'll close that. And since I'm done with the program, I can uh, close that out. Now, as I did mention, that these uh, current files are for a little bit over 41 megabytes, and they're the same exact size because it's from a particular podcast. Now, I can go to the file, which is right here. This is the one that I had just saved. And I can go to get info, and here's the file, and it's uh, 82.4 megabytes, as you can see. And pretty much it just, you know, they kept all the uh, same information. You can also have it to where it keeps the meta tag information for the first file, which is also good if if it's a uh, you know one show or it's a CD that was actually done as a mix, but when it was saved, they broke it up into separate tracks. Well, anyways, this was Bull Boy Kennels. Hope you enjoyed this. For those that uh, find it useful, great. To those that don't, could care less. Well, you know, that's what's up to. Anyways, this was Bull Boy Kennels. Thank you for watching.